Right, what time is it? I actually don't have a watch, but it's 7.30 in the morning and right here in lane number seven is Anna Strawn. Just coming into the last stretch of a fairly strenuous training session. She's been here since 4.30, believe it or not. Swimming along three hours straight. That is not a lie. Coming into the finish here. And there is a big touch. Anna, how are you? Hello. How are you feeling? Okay, all done. Yeah? Yes. Three hours, are you kidding us? What the heck are you doing? Oh, I'm doing my long set. I do a long set every Friday, training for the English Channel. The English Channel. Yeah. Right. Um, how does anyone in their right mind decide to one day, I'm going to go and swim the English Channel? Uh, well, because I can. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, suggested to lovely Jay that I'd like to and he didn't laugh. How far is it anyway? What about 30 k's roughly? It's 34 kilometres plus whatever the tide does to you. And how long would that take a normal person to do? You know, what are we looking uh, at? The average average completion time is 14 hours. Alright. Have you ever done this before? Like marathon style events? No, I've done lots of running marathons yeah. and I tried cycling but I wasn't very good at it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I thought I'd give her a swimming marathon a go, and this is the biggest. Right, how do you train for it? I mean, what are you doing? Like, just on a weekly basis, like how many laps, how many uh, swim sessions are you doing, really? Um, so I swim in the pool during the week. I'll do that four days a week. Yeah. And then a big ocean swim on the weekend. And what, what type of ocean swim lengths are we doing? Like, you know, a few hours at a time? Uh, well, what just, is... like, so it's mostly distance because it depends, yeah. depends on the weather. So mm. 10K usually on a weekend. Any mishap so far with the training? It's not exactly, uh, I, can't, I can't assume it's all smooth sailing. No, no, I was very naive when I signed up. I had no idea. I've never done any ocean yeah. swimming before. So we have a mishap every time, I think. What are we, what are we talking like? Is it just the salt water going up, up the oh, nose? I yeah, mean, steep learning curve, lots of chafing, and I can't swim straight, so I've swum into a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> swam t three k's off course, not oh, even knowing it. It's a trap because you swim one way and then the tide might change. Yeah. You've got to get back. Do you have someone with you? Always, always swim with someone. I've got a couple of buddies that yeah. I'm swimming with. There's two other ladies that are swimming the channel at the same time. So. How, how do you bring that up? Hey, uh, do you mind just coming for a four hour ocean swim? What are you doing oh, on Saturday? Oh, that's mad, isn't it? Yeah. I did get chased by a pack of dogs last week, which is unexpected. Yeah, in the water? Yeah, I was swimming along and there was a big spit. And there were people throwing sticks to their dogs. <laughs> and I asked to swim over the stick accidentally, so the dogs all started <laughs> chasing me. They were pretty quick. <laughs> That's awesome. Double back. Are you heading away in June, which is the English summer? So oh, yeah. a little warmer, but still going to be very cold over there. How, how do you prepare for it? Well, lots of. Um, it's tough in Queensland because the ocean will only get down to about 18, mm. so you have to either travel south. So I'm heading down to Melbourne next weekend. I've done a couple of trips out. Yep. Um, but I've also been sitting in a lot of ice baths. Oh yeah. How long? Like oh, you were talking like just a couple of hours. Uh, I don't know. Like well, do there's, you... a, there's a plunge pool that I've been sitting yeah. in. It's 11 degrees, and I sit in it for about an hour and a half. What are you reading a book? I don't know. Well, what I do you watch do? a bit of telly. Do you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You've got to pass do? the time. Yeah. Hey, what's the support crew going to look like when you get to the English Channel? I'm assuming you're going to have uh, world watchers looking after you? Uh, well, you pay a pilot boat to chug along next to you. I think you're over here, uh, Thomas. And then my husband's coming. Oh, yeah. And my daughter. Nice. And a lovely man named Tim who lives in Dover and he takes people over for a living. Uh, I, can, I don't know, are you, are you going to stop while you swim and kind of check how you're going? Do you yeah, well you're not allowed to touch anything, so you have to stand on the high tide mark in Dover and then stand on the high tide mark in yeah. LA without touching anything. But every half hour the boat will throw you some water. How big a deal when you get over there will this be to actually take it on? But if you can achieve it, how, how big a moment will it be for you? Well, it'll be a big, big, big moment. It's a personal moment because there's no prize. You get, you get a mug and you get to write your name on the wall in the pub in Dover and that's it. You're kidding. So it has to be a personal reward. How, how are you feeling, by the way? You've been swimming for three hours. You're not puffing. No. I did 1,500 metres the other day for the first time in my life. I couldn't 
walk for a day. Or oh, well, pacing, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> slow down. All right. Good on you. Thanks very much for chatting to us. We'd love to check in on your progress. Yeah, yeah. See how you go when you get back. You, can, you, can you do another lap to finish? I'll do another. One more. All right. Just do a warm down. Thanks. Cool yeah. down. Thank you. Good luck. What a trooper. That is just crazy.